Hey everyone, this is Andy from Immediate Arabic, and today we're going to be doing vocabulary from Al Kitab, Chapter One. So I'm here with the wonderful Asil. Welcome, everyone. So this video is going to capture all the important vocabulary from Lesson One in Al Kitab. Uh, it's a kind of a re-edit, uh, so we got a little bit better voiceover, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So listen up use the layering effect that we uh, utilize in the video, and don't forget to catch the bloopers at the end. Enjoy. Okay, let's begin. We're going to do layer one, and I'm going to be the student, and a seal's going to be the teacher. Adab. 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 Tayeb. Second word, really. Walla? You like swear to God? Walla. Mm -hmm. So, walla. And then... My favorite word that everybody needs to know when you first start using, using a language, no, I'm being sarcastic here, but is the United Nations. <laughs> el umam el mutahida. El umma el mutahida. El umam el mutahida. El umam el mutahida. El umam is nations. El mutahida, united. And in Arabic, the adjective comes after the noun. This is why we literally say nations united. Al Umam al Mutahida. Al Umam al Mutahida? Naam. Al Umam al Mutahida. Mumtaz, Mumtaz. Ay. 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 Mm -hmm. Nationality? Jinsia. 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 How about I study? Edrus. 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 Mm -hmm. How about I live or reside? Escon. Eskun? Eskun. Eskun. Mm -hmm. What about she lives or she resides? Teskun. Teskun? Teskun. Hia Teskun. Hia Teskun. How about he lives or he resides? Yeskun. Yeskun. Okay. Hua yes kun. So, the beginning of the verb changes according to the subject. If the subject is huwa, the verb starts with ya. If the subject is hiya, the verb starts with ta. So, huwa yes kun, hiya tes kun. So, when we um, when we're talking about present verb we add a prefix to the root form. The prefix is ya for huwa and ta for hiya. Sana. 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 And what about like really or for real? Sahih. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I was to ask you a question, uh, Asil, could I use it this way? Could I go, uh, um, you know, um, is this correct? Uh, sahih. Is that how I could use it? You can you can ask this way, Sahih, or you can ask, Hal hadha Sahih? Is this correct? Okay. All right. What about the uh, age? Umr. Umr. Mumtaz. So, Umri Dalatun Sina. So, my age is 30 years old. Something like that? Nam. We literally say, my age is, then you mention the number, then you say years. Umri Khamsa Wa Ishroon Sina. My age is 25 years. 
And it's actually going to be 25 year though in Arabic. Is that correct? That's right. Sahih. Sahih. What about she works? Ta'amal. Ta'amal. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned before, the verb starts with ta because it's hiya. Hiya ta'amal. She works. And he works? Ya'mal. 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 The verb starts with ya because it's he. Huwa ya'mal. Huwa ya'mal. No. What about address? Unwan. 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 Mm. Uh, see, see, a quick question. Uh, in Arabic, the aleph there, the, the A sound, do a lot of uh, first-time students, do they, do they shorten that a lot of times? The aleph letter, like unwan. Yeah, students tend to say it shorter. So sometimes that changes the whole meaning of the word. This is why it's very important to pronounce the sounds short if they are short and long if they are long sounds. So here it's not run one, it's run one. So yeah. advice for a, a newer uh, Arabic speaker, is that something that maybe in the beginning we want to uh, kind of exaggerate a little bit? Yeah. What about Egyptian? Misri. 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 What about uh, who? Men. 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 And like area or region? Mintaka. 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 Mm -hmm. Asil, can you tell us anything about the uh, the ka sound there? How it differs? Uh, uh, you know, what what is the difference between that and like a, a an American K, if you will? The American K sound comes from the far part of the tongue, like ka, ka. Can you say ka? Ka. And the cough sound comes from the throat. Ka. Ka. Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, how about the same? Nafs el. Tell you. Uh, like, uh, nefs -she? like Nam, nefs So, so it's like, kind of, kind of like the same thing? Mm-hmm. Same thing okay. or the same. Nefs -she. So, unlike English, we don't, we don't just say nefs, like same. In English, you can say nefs, same. But in Arabic, you don't say same. You say same thing. Nefs -she. Nefsashe. No. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, what about father? Walid. Walid. Mumtaz. And again, here we should make the alif long because if you say walid, it's closer to boy. Walid is father. Walid. Mm hmm. And there's another word, which is ab. 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 Come on. And what about my father? We add the possessive ya. Walidi. 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 Mumtaz. Shukran. How about mother? Walida. 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 
And if you want to say my mother, you say Walidati. 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 Basically, what we do when we want to add a suffix to a word that ends with ta marbuta is changing the ta marbuta to a normal ta, then we add a suffix, any suffix. So here, we want to add the possessive ya to make it my, right? Correct. So, we change the ta marbuta to a normal ta, then we add the possessive ya. Walida, mother. Walidati, my mother. 